What's up, Internet? It's Skinny Eye Coburg Nissan, and behind me, I have arguably one of the nicest family SUVs I've ever driven. This is a 2015 Toyota Highlander Limited. Let's go have a look. All right, so before I get into the reasons why I think this is one of the best family SUVs, let's take you on a tour of the exterior, and then we'll jump into the interior and go over all that cool stuff. So it's a 15 Highlander, 139,000 kilometers on it, but it does not drive or look like that kilometers. It is in absolutely great condition. Now, the Highlander features a 3.5 liter, six cylinder engine, six speed automatic, all wheel drive, very, very well equipped vehicle. If you're looking for towing capacity, it can do it as well. There's a couple little things on the vehicle I wanna show you. So right here in the front bumper, just a little mark in the front, no problem. Little touch of paint will fix that. Coming around the side, there's also one other thing that I noticed. I don't think you're gonna spot it right here, so I'll zoom in on it just a second. But right here, just above the driver's door, and I don't even know if you can see it there, but right here, there's just a little ding that was touched up. It's really hard to tell, but because this pearl paint is so sparkly, you can catch it when you stand just a little bit farther back. But you can see here, the Limited is equipped with these nice alloy wheels. It's got the nice side steps on the bottom. Uh, it just sits really nice. It's a pretty looking car, that is for sure. Now coming around the back, here's one of the features that I like on the Highlander that I wish all SUVs had, was it has this. Check this out. The rear glass pops up, and that makes things so much more convenient if you're putting in groceries or things like that. You can dump stuff back here. Now before we open up everything, uh, actually, you know what? Let's open up everything. Let's check this out. It also has a power trunk. So that opens up nice and easy, hands-free. It also has it on the key fob as well. And you can see here, you've got the aluminum bumper protector, just so you don't scuff anything up there. Now, if you're wondering why the uh, headrests are back here, you'll see why in just a minute. Uh, it has this mystery box. I don't know what it is. It says uh, X-Bar Hang Glider with Garnish. So this may be a Toyota Hang Glider, or more possibly, it is probably the uh, cargo cover for the rear. So let's kick this out of here for just a second. All right. So you can see now we've got the, because uh, this is a seven passenger SUV, we've got the rear seats folded up on the one side so I can show you how that looks, but you still have that other split folding seat in the rear uh, if you've got a little bit more cargo. And then have a look back there. These seats are in great condition. Back passengers also have cup holders on both sides. But then if you don't want to use it for that, you want to use it for cargo, give this a pull. Oh, no. I dropped my phone. Ah, I keep on doing that. Sorry, dropped my phone. And fold that back down, there we go. And you've got a much larger trunk as you can see there. Now, you can see it does have this cargo mat in the rear that still folds up when you have the seats folded up, so that's also a nice thing to have. Let's fold this up close the trunk and keep taking our tour around the outside. Again, that nice pearl white paint with the tan leather interior looks really sharp. Those nice chrome wheels. And then come around the side, you can see here on the front, they have this hood deflector here. You've got HID lights, fog lights at the bottom, nice big Toyota grill. As I said, a really, really sharp car. Now, let's go back here because this is when the really the uh, practical family vehicle comes into play. So first and foremost, you have captain's chairs for the second row. I like that for a couple reasons. A, passengers can walk through the middle to get to the back if they don't want to use the kind of fold and tilt out of the way feature here. They also have armrests, and then they even built in this cool little tuck away um, cup holder here. So you can just drop that down if you want. People can jump in the back. Just give you a quick view of all the cargo back there. <clears throat> Another thing, you notice that the rear sunroof comes all the way to the back. It does have a power shade, so that shade will close all the way up and keep the sunlight out if you don't want or if you have little babies back there. Another great thing, if you have little kids, check this out. It has a sunshade feature on the rear window, so you can put that sunshade up, uh, much like the ones you buy that you stick on the windows, you're good to go there. And then have a look at this rear DVD players in the headrests but the best part about this is individual DVD player 
Oh yeah, so the video stopped working, so let's pick it up where we left off. Individual DVD players, you've got a DVD player for this side and one for the other side. So Finding Nemo could be on there and Jimmy Neutron can be on here. They both have wireless headsets and wireless remotes. So they're perfectly set up back here to watch their own individual movies and you can still listen to your audio and enjoy your ride. It is a very, very nice, sweet setup. Now, as far as comfort and convenience in the back, as you can see here, these uh, captain chairs in the back are heated and then you have tri-zone climate control, which means the driver and passenger have their own individual temperatures, but the rear passengers also have their individual temperature that can be set up back here. Again, great if you have little kids. Uh, and then down here you can see there is a 120 volt outlet so you can plug in things like a uh, charger for like maybe a portable camera, portable camera, digital camera, I don't know, anything you want to plug in back there, plug it in, keep it charged, get it ready to roll for when you arrive at your destination. Now let's keep walking through because the front seat is just as nice as the back. And as you can see here, you got that nice big panoramic sunroof. This piece here, this piece of glass will actually slide all the way back, giving you like a normal sunroof as well, which is nice. But have a look at the condition of these seats. They're in fantastic condition. No odors, no smells, definitely a non-smoker, that is for sure. And it's in absolutely great condition. Driver and passenger power seats. Driver has a power lumbar support as well. And then underneath this ugly white floor mat are Highlander rubber mats and that's actually in the rear as well. That's why those carpet mats were in the trunk <clears throat> Excuse me uh, The driver's seat is also up hooked up to this memory system So you have a driver one driver two setting for husband and wife You've got your blind spot monitor here your power trunk button here your uh, Heated windshield washer fluid. That's pretty sweet in the winter time your heated stereo That's also sweet in the winter time and your sonar, which you can turn on or off just in case you were towing something. Let's hop in. And here's another thing that I like. So um, this is equipped with obviously a touch screen navigation system. It's a really, really large screen, as you can see. Throw it in reverse. You've got the backup camera there as well. And then when you hit the uh, apps button, that's where you go to navigation, audio, phone. Uh, it'll also have a text message assistant. You've got a um, voice recognition system. Your maintenance minders are all here. Everything's all here in this screen. Really nice, really simple and easy to use. Hit home, goes back to home. Hit audio, goes to audio. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Uh, as you can see, it is a JBL audio system. Uh, USB input, XM satellite radio, and Bluetooth streaming from your cell phone. So if you have uh, Google Play or Spotify, you can continue to use those with your cell phone right through the audio system. Very cool, very set up. Um, again, commercial free music, gotta love it. Here's the dual zone climate troll in the front. You've got your driver and your passenger temperatures uh, and you can set them individually to whatever you like. See, you can jump that up to 22 on the passenger side, 20 on the driver's side. Now, when I said a well laid out, well thought out family vehicle, this is what I'm talking about. So see this tray here that runs all the way up? This tray for me, and it may not just be for everybody, but this is a lifesaver. This tray here is where you dump your cell phone, you put your sunglasses, you put your puffer, you put whatever you want to put here. And it stays in place, it's tucked up nice, it's so easy to grasp. I, I just like it as opposed to putting it down here in front of the shifter where you're always goofing around trying to grab stuff. I love that tray. It even has, let me see if I can get it there, there. It even has this cool little, it's got this little hole here because what you can do is plug in your cell phone charger to that USB down there run it up through here and charge your cell phone all tucked out away. But I, I love the tray. It sounds so silly. But once you live in the car for four or five days, you'll know exactly what I mean. This becomes kind of the home base where you put all the stuff that's really important that you want to have on the fly. <clears throat> what they did as well that was smart is they put all these buttons, the stuff that you very rarely use, turning your track and draw, snow mode, hill descent control, 4x4, all this stuff that realistically you're probably not going to touch, or if you do, it's not very often, is all out of the way, tucked up front where you don't need it and it's not wasting space. Whereas normally they'd put it all up here and this wouldn't be a tray. Whoever uses those buttons, give me a tray. I want the tray. Love the tray. So trust me, after you own the car for a couple days, you'll agree with me. The tray, all right, right on. <laughs> all right, so keep moving down. You've got your shifter, you got your cup holders, and then you have heated and cooled seats, as you can see here. So it's a warm day, got the cooled seats on, or you could throw in the heated seats, whatever you like, maybe you have back problems, you may need some heat, but 
they're all here on this handy dial. The nice thing about the handy dial is, <clears throat> excuse me, if you get a remote starter installed or something like that, you can leave it on here. When it starts the car, guess what? It's going to go back and use the last setting that you had it set up as. So that's pretty nice. Uh, speaking of starter, it is a push button start, as you can see here. Uh, the door handle, which I forgot to show you, but the door handle is pretty slick. Just put your hand on the door. It unlocks the car. When you get out, tap the top of the handle. It locks the car. Pretty smart. Pretty simple. Um, the armrest, again, little things, but I like it. The armrest, very comfortable. These don't get in the way. And actually, you can kind of grip on them. It's kind of cool like that. But then push them, and they all slide open. And here's your little treasure box. And as you can see in here, we have the wireless headphones for those DVD players. And you have the wireless remotes for the DVD players. So that's where you can tuck that stuff out of the way and hide it there when the kitties aren't using it. Or if they're being bad, you take it away and you're like, hey, you're not getting that back until you're good. Smart idea. You can tell I have kids, right? So close that back up. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. Maybe Bobby is your uncle. <laughs> You've got a leather wrap steering wheel. You've got your audio controls on one side with your Bluetooth. You've got your uh, controls here for the display up top, which I'll show you in a second. And then, of course, you have Toyota's finicky cruise control underneath the wheel. But these buttons up here will control this display here, which goes through a lot of cool things like your fuel economy, your navigation settings, your audio, your settings for the vehicle, any warnings. Uh, it's all located right up here in the dash. Really easy to find and easy to use with those buttons on the steering wheel. And as you can see, 139,000 kilometers, but it does not show like that. It does not drive like 139K. I've been driving this car for about four or five days. And that's how I know I just love this setup in this vehicle with my two guys. They hop in the back. The DVD player keeps them nice and comfy and quiet. And the navigation system is great if you want to go on some road trips. The heated seats, that big panoramic sunroof. It's just, this is the right car, guys. This is not crazy money. Highlanders are expensive luxury vehicles. This is not priced like that. And as you can see from the car proof, it is a one owner, no accidents, very, very clean vehicle in fantastic shape. So guys, my name is Skinny. I love this Toyota. There's not many Toyotas I'm really this excited about, but if you're a family person, this is the right one to get. It is so well equipped, so comfortable to drive in fantastic condition, and you're not gonna break the bank trying to keep the family comfortable. This is a great, great used car. So if you're shopping from home or from your office and you're out of town, not to worry, Coburg Nissan has you covered. We have free delivery practically right across Ontario. Not many places I can't put this car in your driveway. Even if you have a trade-in, we have perfected this process. It's like buying off Amazon, super easy. Just give us a call, drop me an email, and I'll go over that entire process with you. It's super, super simple. Don't be intimidated by it. We do it all the time. I'm Skinny. I love working at Coburg Nissan. You will love buying a car from us here. Please give us a call and we're gonna help you out as best we can. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on this really, really nice Highlander. Don't tell my boss that I love this Highlander so much. It's a Toyota. We're supposed to like Nissan, 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 Nissan. But this Toyota's nice. See you later, guys.